Hey curious people, welcome back to the Curiosity Kingdom. Today we will be continuing with our every element in the periodic table series and moving in the order of increasing atomic number. Today we will be discussing about lithium. As usual, I am at Dubai and let's begin. Subscribe to Curiosity Kingdom and hit the bell icon to get the updates of every video we make. Also, follow us on our various social media handles like our Facebook page, our Twitter handle at Curiosity Kingdom Official, our Quora space again at Curiosity Kingdom, and visit our website at www.curiositykingdomweb.blogspot.com. So, let's start with the basics. Basically, lithium is a chemical element with the symbol Li, atomic number 3, and the atomic mass 6.941 AMU. At standard temperature and pressure, lithium is a light, silvery white, highly reactive, flammable alkali metal with a cubic crystal structure. Now let's see lithium in the periodic table. In the periodic table, its atomic number is 3, its group number is 1 and its group name is alkali metal. Alkali metals are element occupying the first group. These are very reactive, electropositive, monovalent metals forming strongly alkaline hydroxides. Moving ahead, its period is 2, its block is S and its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s1. Moving ahead with the numbers. In the numbers, lithium has a symbol of Li, its atomic number is 3 and its atomic mass is 6.941 AMU. Its atomic radius is 152 picometer. Electronegativity in the Pauling scale is 0.98. Its melting point is 180.54 degrees Celsius and the boiling point is 1347 degrees Celsius. Moving ahead, its density at standard temperature pressure is 0.53 grams per centimeter cube and the speed of sound when passes through a thin rod of lithium at 20 degrees Celsius is 6000 meter per second. Because of certain reasons, there is a big change in order except our having history and terminology we are having occurrence first. So let's start. Lithium does not occur as a metal in the nature because it is very reactive, but is found combined in small amounts in nearly all igneous rocks and in the waters of many mineral springs. Some important minerals contain lithium are spodiumene, pyrrolite, lipidolite, and amlygonite. Most lithium is currently produced in Chile from brines that yield lithium carbonate. When treated with sodium carbonate, the metal is produced by the electrolysis of molten lithium chloride and potassium chloride. Lithium is markedly less abundant in the universe than other elements. This is a result of comparatively low stellar temperatures necessary to destroy lithium, along with a lack of common processes to produce it. Up next is history and terminology. History of lithium dates back to 1817 when Johann August found it in petrolite, which is a mineral. Petrolite was known from a long time, but it was not known that there is something called lithium and it is present in it. It was then isolated by William Thomas Brain and Sir Humphrey Davy through the electrolysis of lithium oxide. However, the quantity was small. At next, it was not until 1855 when the German chemist Robert Bernstein and the British chemist Augustus Matheson obtained it in bulk by electrolysis of molten lithium chloride. Its name comes from the Greek word lithios meaning stone, stemming from its origin of discovery as it was discovered from the mineral petlite. And now it's the time to know some of the important and interesting compounds of lithium. These include lithium stearate which is a chemical compound. It is formally classified as a soap. Lithium stearate is a white soft solid prepared by the reaction of lithium hydroxide and stearic acid. Other compounds are lithium oxide, lithium hydroxide, lithium peroxide, lithium fluoride and lithium aluminium hybride. Next up is the uses of lithium. Some important uses include lithium oxide is widely used as a flux. A flux in metallurgy is a type of chemical cleaning agent for processing silica. Reducing the melting point and viscosity of the material. Viscosity is the measure of a fluid's resistance to flow. 
some other important uses are late in the 20th century lithium became an important component of battery electrolytes and electrodes because of its high electrode potential and its low atomic mass it has a high charge and power to weight ratio other uses are lithium hydroxide is a strong base and when heated with a fat produces a soap made of lithium stearate which you remember we discussed about it in compounds lithium soap has the ability to thicken oil and it is used to manufacture all purpose high temperature lubricating grease also when used as a flux for melting or soldering metallic lithium promotes the fusing of metals during the process and eliminates the forming of oxide by absorbing impurities other uses include lithium compounds are used as a pyrotechnic colorant and oxidizers in red fireworks and flares a polytechnic colorant is a chemical compound which causes a flame to burn with a particular color in this case it is red other uses are lithium peroxide in presence of moisture not only reacts with carbon dioxide to form lithium carbonate but also releases oxygen lithium fluoride artificially grown as crystal is clear and transparent and often used in specialist optics ir which full form is infrared uv which is ultraviolet and vuv which is vacuum ultraviolet applications Metallic lithium and its complex hybrids such as lithium aluminum hybrid are used as high energy additives in rocket propellant. Lithium aluminum hybrid can also be used by itself as a solid fuel. And finally, lithium is also used in medicine world for curing various mental disorders like depression. And now we come to the last segment of this video, the isotopes. Naturally occurring lithium is composed of two stable isotopes, lithium 6 and lithium 7. All the other isotopes are radioisotopes from which lithium 9 has a half life of 178.3 milliseconds and lithium 11 has a half life of 8.75 milliseconds. All of the remaining isotopes of lithium have a half life of less than 10 nanoseconds. From which the shortest lived known isotope of lithium is lithium 4 which decays by proton emission with a half life of 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 23 seconds. Although the half life of lithium 3 is yet to be known, it has known isotopes from lithium 3 to lithium 13, but we still don't know the half life of lithium. 3. And this is the end of the video. And that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Hope you like this video. If you learned something new, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Follow us on our various social media handles, and we'll catch you up next week with a brand new video. And till that time. Keep learning, keep asking, and stay curious.